We're talking about an absolute beast of a laptop today, the Lenovo Legion Slim 14.5 inch gaming laptop. And really, I wanna answer two questions. One, is this the best gaming laptop you can bring while traveling? And two, is this better than the Asus Zephyrus G14? Let's find out. But let's back up a sec. My name is Khalil, and when I get really excited about something, I do a ton of research on it, and now I wanna share that with you. Also, I'm not sponsored by anyone, so this is just my take. I've owned the Asus Zephyrus G14 for the last two years, and Lenovo Legion Slim just for the last two months. And after using both of these laptops extensively, I wanna share with you some real world differences between the two, and which one I like more. Okay, so the Lenovo Legion I've got here is spec'd out with an NVIDIA RTX 4060 GPU, a Ryzen 7 7840HS CPU, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a one terabyte SSD, and a glossy OLED 2880 by 1800 panel, which is about 1440p. Right now, this laptop is on sale for 1150 US dollars at Best Buy. And this wouldn't be a gaming laptop review without some actual gameplay and some benchmarks. So let's get into it. For gameplay, we'll look at Apex Legends. I'm not actually very good at this game, but I do like to play it. Here, we can see an average FPS of 134 and a 1% minimum of 43. I care the most about these two numbers. The average FPS tells us what our laptop's components like the GPU and CPU are capable of, while the 1% minimum tells us how consistently we can expect that output. Let's talk temperatures, and all of these numbers will be in Celsius. For the CPU, we're seeing an average temperature of 76 degrees, maxing at 89 degrees. And for the GPU, we're seeing an average temperature of 61 degrees, maxing out at 66 degrees. Temperature is important because running too hot means our laptop will throttle its own performance to cool itself down, which will result in stuttery or jittery gameplay. Now, onto some benchmarks. First, I ran the 3D Mark free demo from Steam. I like this benchmark because it's free and used by a lot of people, so it's easy to compare across devices. This laptop got an overall score of 10,362. Let's take a look at CPU. Overall, we saw temperatures hang under about 85 degrees, but they did peak at 99 degrees during the CPU benchmark. For our GPU, on the other hand, we saw it peak at just 71 degrees Celsius. At a high level, those results are pretty good. The GPU stayed really cool both during benchmarks and while gaming, and the CPU ran hotter than I'd like, but I would say for a laptop of this size and price, this was a pretty great result overall. Okay, now let me share some of the things I absolutely love about this laptop after using it extensively over the last two months. First thing is that this display is incredible. It uses an OLED panel and it's my first time using an OLED panel. I love it. The colors are so vibrant, everything just pops on the screen, the shadows are darker, games look beautiful, and I feel like I have a lot more clarity and can see things more easily on the screen. Its refresh rate is 120 hertz, which is lower than my Zephyrus G14, which is at 165 hertz. This difference I thought would be really perceptible to me, but instead, the vibrance of the display makes me like this a lot more. After using this laptop, I am completely sold on OLED as a technology, and I don't think I'm looking back. Thing I love number two, the performance of this laptop is fantastic. Games ran smoothly, I played Apex Legends, Dota 2, I did some 4K video editing, everything ran super smoothly. The laptop stayed cool, especially the GPU, which I care a lot about, since games and video editing tend to depend the most on the GPU. So overall, I think the performance of this thing is beastly. Third thing I love is that this thing is lightweight and portable. It's technically a bigger case and frame than a laptop like the G14, but when packed with its charger, it's actually lighter. It fits right into my backpack, no problem. I guess it technically should almost be considered a 15 inch laptop because that display is 14 and a half inches, but uh, overall it feels super portable and perfect for bringing on trips. A few other small things I like about this laptop, I actually really enjoy that around the case, it does not have a ton of gamer or RGB kind of features. Instead, it's a pretty minimal look, which fits my aesthetic better. I also really like the port placement on the back of the laptop. To me, this is really nice for keeping cables tidy. It's a little bit harder to set up, I suppose, but once you have everything plugged in, everything's out of the way and it just creates a much cleaner aesthetic, which I personally really like. 
On to some room for improvement. Uh, this laptop honestly doesn't feel super premium in terms of the actual feel of the materials. The keyboard and trackpad themselves, they don't feel super high quality, and when switching back and forth between this and my MacBook Pro, the difference is pretty stark. I would say that because I'm not using this laptop for anything other than gaming, it's not a deal breaker to me, but if this were your one and only laptop, you might care about that since the trackpad, the keyboard, the webcam, and the speakers all feel pretty low quality overall. Second room for improvement, and yeah, I have to call it out, the speakers are not good. I won't be able to quite capture exactly how they sound, but it is night and day when you play something on this versus on a MacBook. Honestly, these speakers kind of make my iPhone sound like it has good speakers. I do not recommend this thing for listening to anything out loud. The third thing I don't love about this laptop is that, yes, I like that it doesn't look gamery, but it also doesn't look sleek. It doesn't look like a MacBook or a premium PC. It kind of just looks a little big and clunky for what it is. Okay, I'm gonna be upfront. I like the Lenovo Legion laptop better than the Asus Zephyrus G14 a lot. Let me explain why. First, I'll say a few things I like about the G14. I think the G14 looks better. The G14 also has a higher refresh rate. It runs at 165 Hertz for my model. The G14 has slightly better speakers and a more premium feeling keyboard. The G14 is a little bit smaller dimension wise and the G14 keeps the CPU a little bit cooler. But honestly, the list ends there for me. The Lenovo Legion has a way better display, like night and day difference between the two. This might be the best display I've ever seen on a gaming laptop. The Legion performs better, while running cooler, and more quietly. The Lenovo Legion has a slightly bigger display and a higher resolution while being a lighter laptop. The slightly lower refresh rate of the Legion ended up being not very noticeable, but the vibrance of the colors and the display ended up being super noticeable. While gaming competitively on the Zephyrus G14, I constantly felt like I was on a laptop. When I was playing on the Lenovo Legion, on the other hand, I started to forget that I was even on a laptop. Maybe it's that the display is a little bigger or the OLED panel, but I would get lost in the game and totally feel the same way I do when I'm playing on my desktop monitor at home. In games like Apex, enemies just appeared more clearly and I felt like I was hitting more of my shots and performing better overall. Yes, it feels a little bit less premium of a laptop, but everything else is better. It runs games more smoothly, the display is beautiful, and I found the laptop to be a real joy to use. This is gonna be my gaming laptop moving forward for when I'm away from home. So in conclusion, I would wholeheartedly recommend the Lenovo Legion over the Asus Zephyrus G14. I think the G14 feels a little bit more premium, especially when thinking about the keyboard and the trackpad, the speakers, but in pretty much every other way, the Lenovo Legion wins for me. The gameplay felt smoother, the temperatures stayed lower overall, and the laptop just felt really nice, like the display made it a pleasure to use and to game on. So while the G14 is a pretty respectable contender, I think the Lenovo Legion wins this comparison for me. But I'm curious, what do you think? Let me know down below.